What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Red-Tailed Roost and Agua Dulce Trail Loop. Yes, I said that correctly. It was a little bit longer. I was trying really hard not to look down. <laughs> but that said, this is a less popular trail in Mount Laguna, but it is a beautiful and relaxing one. It's a little less popular because there isn't the lake view like you do get with the sunset and Big Laguna trails, and there's no peaks. So it is, I'll call it relatively flat, uh, but we'll get into all of that after the B-roll. So let's just jump into it. All right, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the B-roll. Let's just jump into those trail details. Red Tail Roost and Agua Dulce Trail Loop is a 4.7 mile lightly trafficked loop trail located near Juliet's in Mount Laguna. Features beautiful wildflowers and is rated as moderate. The trail is primarily for hiking, running horses. Dogs and horses are also able to use this trail. As I mentioned, 4.7 miles, elevation gain 587 feet. That is incredibly deceiving, and I'll explain why in a minute. And the route type is a loop. Now this is one of those trailheads where it is very obvious where it starts. You go into a parking lot, there's a building right next to it, and uh, there are a few trailheads that look like the correct trailheads, but they're not. So just make sure you look out. I'll post a video here for those signs that say like, hey, this is the, the red-tailed roost entrance. All right, let's talk about how to get there before we jump into the actual trail details. As I mentioned, Sunrise Highway, and it is well marked. Red-tailed roost trailhead. So here you can see, uh, you put that in your Google Maps, Apple Maps, whatever you're using. Let's drop our little guy. What the hell happened here? All right, so this man, so you can see the building right there. You're gonna park on the left-hand side here and uh, the trailhead is on this side, so just be aware of that. Uh, this is a very weird angle, so let's close out of that. Very easy to get to, the fire station is right in front, so that should be a cue. If you pass this, you've gone too far. Let's talk about those trail details here. All right, so the way we did it is we started off the right-hand side. So the, the entrance is the same. You walk, I don't know, maybe like 100 feet, and then it splits into the left or right-hand side. We started with the right-hand side. You saw it was pretty flat, lots of beautiful trees. There were some cabins. Uh, 
maybe look to rent, which sounds amazing out there. And then you very gradually decline. Now, as you get to this top part here, you start to go back up. And this whole section here is where your legs start to really get tired. You know, it's interesting that it's 487 feet elevation gain because it feels like more than that. I feel like I struggled more on this hike than I have in other hikes that are around a thousand feet elevation. Now, if you do want to cut the trail short, I did notice that as you're walking here, there is almost like a fire road. You can see here on this map, you can cut, uh, who knows, probably about a mile off this trail through if you're in a bit of a hurry and not go the long way. You'll end up back here and you'll just keep going up and up and up. Not much else to talk about. Great views, very forest-like vibe to it. There's no peaks, no lakes, as I mentioned. So it is incredibly relaxing. And I think also a great place to just take your dog and let your dog run a little bit. It's, uh, it's straight a lot, so you can see very far ahead of you. Now, I do want to mention this. If you go the way we did, the right-hand side, it is significantly harder to loop back around than it is if you go towards the left-hand side first and then come across the other way. So let me explain why. You can see the elevation down here on all trails. So this is one of those trails where you go down before you go up. If you go towards the left-hand side, you can see here that the elevation will start to decrease mainly between mile one to mile two. So if you're doing it the other way around, you're gonna do most of the elevation in a one mile span. And it'll slowly increase from mile three to about mile five. You can see that it goes almost all the way up. So if you do it the other way around, as I mentioned, it'll be a gradual decline for most of the hike. And then the increase from mile two to one, or in this case, three to four, is where you're gonna get most of that elevation. Not much else to add here, as I always mention, usually when I talk about these Mount Laguna trips, uh, you can connect this and go to Big Laguna, go everywhere else you need to go. These trails are all connected in one way or another. So keep that in mind if you're looking to make a full day trip out of it. I'll leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Make sure you check out my Instagram at instagram.com slash beauty as well with two eyes. The YouTube channel at youtube.com slash beauty as well with two eyes. And the website at www.beautyiswild.com with two eyes. Stick around and uh, I'll see you guys soon.